guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you are all doing okay. As you can tell by the title, today I'm gonna to be bringing you a bit of a video with all of my Amazon finds as a nail tech. I get all sorts of stuff from Amazon and I absolutely love ordering from Amazon. And yeah, I just basically wanted to show you what I get from Amazon and what products I'm absolutely loving and is pretty much repeat orders for me. I use them all the time and I just thought I would make a video to show you all of my little finds from Amazon because I love watching these videos because I am a sucker for it and I'm always ordering from Amazon. I am very selected about the products that I buy from Amazon. They are either, they're kind of like physical stuff like so safe bets are like nail art um the things that i'm going to show you in this video um you know kind of like i just wouldn't buy things like monomer um you know gels like actual products that you like that i'm going to use on clients kind of thing any kind of acrylic powders i would always get like sp specific brands and get them from the brand's website um, just because sometimes like going for the cheaper option isn't always the best route forward so yeah, I'm just wary about what I do order from there. I only order select things. So I wanted to show you what I order from there. And yeah, hopefully you love it. So I will get into it and I will show you exactly what I have found. So what I'll do is I will go through and show you exactly what I've got. And I will also pop a little screenshot of what it looks like in the top corner. And I'll also leave links for everything down below just in case you want to go and shop them because like I say, they are must haves for nail techs and yeah, just everything that I'm loving. Now, if you watch my last video, you will see that I, my most recent purchase from Amazon is this nail, like this wrist rest, which fits really, really nicely on my desk. I will pop a little picture in the top corner of what it looks like as a, you know, kind of a part of my desk setup. But this is the wrist rest that I am absolutely loving at the moment. It's really, really comfortable for my clients and it is a lot easier now rather than having it built into, because I had an extractor fan and a wrist rest in one. Um, but I prefer the padding to be on the top so that we can get better hand placement for my clients. So yeah, I absolutely love this. This is definitely an upgrade for my desk. And they do actually come in white and black as well, but I went with the pink because it kind of matched my lamp with the little pink accent. So yeah, I went for the pink one. And like I say, you can either get white or black as well. But yeah, that was the my, my most recent purchase from Amazon because I wanted to switch up my desk a little bit. So if you're looking for a wrist rest or anything, um, this was actually half the price of what I was going to pay. I think I was going to, I was looking at the GB wrist rest, which are like 50, 60 pound, I think. But I think this was 30 pounds from Amazon and it is perfect quality and yeah, just does the job. It's amazing. So that is the first one. Um, now that was, I just kind of did that because it was in front of me and like I say, it was my most recent purchase. Now, everything else that I'm going to show you is things that I've just repeat purchased, obviously, if I've run out of. And yeah, things that have been used. So if they're not new or anything. I'm not like unboxing them. I'm just showing you what I've got. So the next two things that I'm going to show you are my little clips. So these are my little finger clips and toe versions. We've got little toe clips as well. So if you're soaking off any biab, you can pop your little clip on with your, I use cotton pads, so I just cut my, cut my cotton pads up and just pop it on there with this little finger clip. Now I do actually have soaking bowls, which I'll show you later, but I only specifically use the soaking bowls for acrylics, just because I feel like they are a much tougher product to get off and they need to be fully submerged in acetone. But I find that these setting clips for gel and builder gel so costs are absolutely perfect. And with the finger clips, it also means that you can work on other nails whilst, say for example, you've got one stubborn nail that the builder gel or the gel needs a little bit longer. And actually what I love about these is that you can have that one soaking whilst also working on other nails. If you want to do your cuticle prep on the other ones or anything like that. Whereas if it's in a full on soaking bowl, then you can't work on that hand at all, which is why I love these soaking clips. So they have the finger version. I just drop one and they also have the toe version as well. So they have like bigger ones for like the big toes and like different sizes. So yeah, I have the finger and the toe version and I find these super, super helpful. This then leads me on nicely to the soak off pots. Now these are the soak off pots that I use for acrylic soak offs and they basically just have like 
five little sections in there for each finger and then these also pop off with these little clips so you can pop warm water in the bottom obviously because acetone is quite cold so you can pop warm water in the bottom and then pop this one on over the top with your acetone in and then um yeah you can soak off your acrylics in there because like i say i prefer to soak off my acrylic it like fully submerged because obviously it is a, a lot tougher product so i find that, that gets it off very very quick and yeah just really easy to use i love those that also leads me next on to my acetone now i always get my acetone from amazon and this is the salon systems one and this is just like the best acetone that i've used it gets off the my gels builder gels and acrylic in an amazing time i absolutely love it so yeah this is what i get from amazon i think this is about nine pounds for a bottle i actually really need to look into getting a bigger one because the amount i go through this is a joke these are these bottles are one liter um and i actually could do with about five liters so um yeah if they did like a bigger bottle i would always opt for that because i use acetone for a lot of stuff and you go through it like there's no tomorrow so that is a must have and that would they all kind of tie in nicely with the soak off kind of situation so that is also where i get my um, acetone from you need to be making sure that you are getting quite a high percent of acetone 100 percent if you can because this will affect the amount of time that it takes to soak off like any product that you're soaking off the next thing is my lint free white i think this is like a thousand pack but some of them that I do actually buy, I just, I do, I have got these ones um, as my most recent ones, but I have also seen packs in the past where they've come with a little bottle, like a little um, pump bottle, which I have my acetone in. It makes it really, really easy for, um, you know, just so that you're not faffing with, you know, the bottle, like the big bottle. So it's just got a little cap on it and a little pump. So you just pop your pad on and pump it and then the acetone will come out. So yeah, a lot of the time when you get lint-free wipes, you can get a little bottle with it as well. They can come together. Or if you've already got the bottle and you just want the lint-free wipes on their own, then you can do that as well. And this was a quite a recent purchase because I ran out of the lint-free wipes. Again, another thing that I go through, like there's no tomorrow. So I didn't need the one with the bottle because I already have one. Um, but obviously, if you don't have one of these and you want to pop your acetone in because it is super helpful, then I would always recommend getting the lint-free wipes with the bottle that comes with it as well. Um, but just keep an eye on how many you're getting in a pack because I think I bought a thousand, there's a thousand in this pack and I think it was, a, it was under £10, but some of them you can pay maybe the same amount or a little bit less for like 200 packs, um, like 200 in the pack, what I mean. Um, so yeah, just keep an eye on how many you're getting, but I will link them below which ones I get. This is the 1,000 pack and then you can also get this kind of the same amount, but include in one of the bottles as well. So I will link them both down below for you. And I just love these. I can use them for soak offs or I can use them for wiping away the inhibition layer. I also use them to clean my nail art brushes after use and all that kind of stuff. Another thing that I get from Amazon is my method spray. Now I use this to disinfect and clean down my desk after every client. And when I tell you this stuff smells incredible like i cannot even tell you i first of all i went with the wild rhubarb one and then this one is the peach blossom but it's one of those sprays that you know when you spray it and you clean your desk i can leave my room and come back like half an hour later and you're walking and you can still smell it like it literally leaves your room smelling beautiful and yeah i absolutely love this i know it's like a little bit more expensive but it is so worth it for me and i just absolutely love it so this is the peach blossom like i say i normally get the wild rhubarb i'd say the wild rhubarb is probably my favorite scent and i will definitely get in that be getting that again um but yeah this method spray is also a must have for my salon and obviously for disinfecting everywhere i absolutely love it now, there are a few things that I need to stock up on, like the next thing, which is my dental bibs. Now, I actually get the dental bibs from Amazon and they are an amazing surface cover for when you're working, especially with acrylic. So normally I would use maybe like paper towel or something, you know, and you're um, doing a set of acrylics and you're wiping your brush down. But this set of dental bibs are, I know they're obviously not the actual purpose, but they are insane because they've got like a layer of protection underneath so that the um the product doesn't come through it's got like a waterproof underneath section 
Um, so yeah, it stops the product coming through and ruining your desk. So I absolutely love these dental bibs for when I'm doing um, mainly acrylics, but just to lay down and protect your, protect your desk because obviously these desks go through it and it is very easy to spill product on them and get products all over them so yeah they are amazing just to have a light layer of protection down the next thing that i also need to stock up on but i have one left is these cuticle oil pens so i actually get these cuticle oil pens from amazon and they come empty so that you can refill them and they come in about a 20 pack and they are fab for filling up with you know for your clients so you could get like a bottle of cuticle oil and order these cuticle pens from amazon fill them up yourself and then just have them there for your clients to purchase at their appointment and yeah i just think it's a really really good way to get your clients encourage your clients to be oiling those cuticles and i definitely need to stock up on them because i think this is my last one so yeah i need to get some more but i'll pop the screenshot in the corner of the ones that i get and they also come with a little pipette as well so that you can fill the um, fill it up quite easily they all come separate so the um the brush actually comes separate and then you have just have to click the brush into place when you've filled it up. So they're really easy to use and really good to have on your desk for clients if they need them. Obviously, if they have them at home, they don't have to have them, but it obviously encourages clients to oil those cuticles and get the most out of their, um, their set, basically. So yeah, that's definitely something that I need to order and I would recommend. The next thing that I want to recommend is a phone stand for your desk whether you want one for yourself or whether you want one for your clients mine was mainly for my clients but i really need to get another one because i use this all the time as well um but yeah just to have a phone stand on your desk because one of the main reasons that i wanted to get this was because clients obviously they go on the phone during their appointments and when they've got wet nails or they've got like they, they just shouldn't really be touching anything it just makes it it makes me feel a lot better knowing that their phone is on a stand so they don't have to be scooping anything up off the desk and kind of try maybe affecting their nails because nobody wants that so yeah phone stand 100 percent. if you want one for yourself or if you want one for your clients get two because i mean i actually bought this for my clients and i steal it all the time but yeah, maybe get two because you will both find it very, very um, helpful. And then the last thing of this kind of like little nail tech recommendations from Amazon is this tape. Now this is, I'm not actually too sure what the actual name is for this. I'll have to find it. Well, I'll pop a screenshot there anyway. But basically this tape, this actually works really, really well for protecting your own nails, especially if you're a nail tech that has their nails done. When you're filing your client's nails, you will catch your own. I do it all the time. And yeah, I just find it helpful to wrap your nails, especially your thumb and your first finger, wrapping those up just to keep them protected will keep your nails looking 100% fresh and how they should do rather than having file marks in them like mine sometimes do. So yeah, this is kind of just like a, a, a protection tape. It's got like a, a sticky side to it like that. Um, and you can just wrap that around to protect your own nails and you will make sure they're still looking 10 10 after a day full of clients so there you go guys that is my little video for amazon must-haves for you nail techs out there i hope you found this video helpful and if you did if you could please like and subscribe that would be amazing thank you so so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye